August car sales signal a slowing and softening car market. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Well, how was fishing, Liz? Oh, I always enjoy a little time out in the water. Fishing is always good, even if you don't catch much. I guess so. Yeah. Well, Automotive News reports that auto sales in August increased to 1.33 million, up 17% over a year ago, but there are signs that the market is slumping. Yes, they say extreme weather in Southern California and Florida and a holdout for Labor Day deals contributed to a softer than expected U.S. new vehicle market in August. I think everybody should know by now there's no Labor Day no. deals. I wonder what excuses they'll have for September when sales slump even further. For the seven automakers that report monthly U.S. sales, volume increased 12.5% over the year-ago month, according to Automotive News Research and Data Center. The results track the volumes reported by the industry over the past six months, but signs indicate the market could be contracting. Yes, the seasonally adjusted annual rate of sales for August was 15.17 million, according to Motor Intelligence. That figure came in just below forecasts and down from July's 15.9 million pace. That's a loss of 730,000 sales in a single month. It's enough to cause some pain out there, that's for sure. Most definitely, which means it's a good time for you, friends, to stand tough on negotiations because dealers will be hungrier for car deals. Charlie Chesbro, Cox Automotive Senior Analyst, told Automotive News that year-over-year -year growth will start to appear weaker moving closer to December because last August is when inventory started to recover following the post-pandemic disruptions. He said, we are expecting a slowdown with higher interest rates, less credit availability, and pent-up demand from the pandemic that has already been satisfied, noting that industry sales will not get back to the 17 million levels anytime soon. Though the seasonally adjusted annualized rate, the SAR, remained over the 15 million mark, the baseline each month this year, global data adjusted its 2023 forecast downward to 15.3 million units from 15.4 million. The firm said the real possibility of a UAW strike and its potential impact on inventory stockpiles was definitely a factor. Fleet sales outpaced the retail market and supported much of the growth in August. The fleet market share was estimated to be 15.6%, an increase of 2.2% over last year's share, but a decrease from 16% in July, as automakers relied on more plentiful inventories to fill backlogs to fleet clients. J.D. Power and Global Data said retail inventory levels in August had risen to about 1.3 million vehicles, an increase from July and up 48% compared with August 2022. Macro headwinds such as elevated transaction prices and high interest rates continue to sideline price-conscious buyers, but more choices at dealerships and a return to incentives are nudging the market along. Toyota Motor, Ford Motor, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Subaru, and Mazda all continue to rebound thanks to more plentiful inventory and increasing incentives to offset rising interest rates. Toyota Motor, which includes Toyota and Lexus, reported a sales increase of 15%. Toyota and Lexus sales were up 16% and 9.4% respectively. Toyota said strong sales were driven mostly by a 21% increase in light truck sales. Toyota Motors said it ended August with 174,567 light vehicles in U.S. stock or a 24-day supply. The Toyota brand had 142,257 vehicles in stock or a 23-day supply to start September while Lexus had a stockpile of 32,320 cars and light trucks or a 37-day supply. Ford Motor August sales rose 2% thanks to a 10% increase in pickup deliveries. Volume at Ford Division rose 2% and Lincoln sales increased 3.1%. Ford brand sales have climbed nine consecutive months while August is the fourth month this year that Lincoln has logged an increase, though not consecutively. Ford said it ended August with U.S. gross vehicle stocks of 383,300, up from 359,100 at the start of the month. Over at Honda Motor, they continue to struggle to recover following the chip shortage and continue to see rebounding sales even as it works through industry logistics and supply issues. In August, combined Honda and Acura volumes surged 57%. Honda brand sales were 56% and Acura saw an increase of 61%. Honda ended August with 31,900 new vehicles on the ground, down from 32,000 to start the month, but up from 13,700 heading into September 2022. 
Acura finished August with about 17,678 vehicles on the ground, slightly up from 17,400 at the start of the month and a sharp increase from 3,089 heading into September last year. Hyundai and Kia also continued to enjoy growth. Hyundai Motor America sales increased 1.1% to 65,046, while Kia America reported a gain of 9.2% to 72,147. The automakers, which operate separately despite sharing the same parent, Hyundai Motor Group, have been neck and neck all year. Kia sales surpassed Hyundai's in August as it did in February, May, June, and July. Kia America Vice President of Sales Operations Eric Watson attributed its success, exceeding sales of 70,000 vehicles for four consecutive months to its highly desirable and innovative models across many of the industry's largest segments. Genesis, Hyundai's luxury brand, logged an increase of 27%. August inventory for Hyundai was 53,075 vehicles, up from 47,836 in July. Inventory in August 2022 was 19,209. So some pretty big jumps. Yeah. Subaru posted its 13th consecutive monthly sales gain with August volume up 13% to 56,407 behind stronger deliveries of the Forester, Legacy, and Outback. Mazda's August sales advanced 19% to 30,174. That's 11 straight months of gain for them. Mazda's car sales rose 17% and light truck volume rose 19%. Volvo said August sales rose 31%. The average new vehicle retail transaction price in August is expected to be around 45,537, down 566 bucks from August 2022. The previous high for any month was 47,362. It was set back in December. So friends, we are making some progress, albeit slow progress. Average transaction prices have come down from their peak, Charlie Chesbro said, but whether they will continue to drop is the big question. He went on to say they will likely elevate again come December when many luxury buyers enter the market looking for sales for like Lexus's notable December to remember. On the incentive side, average incentive spending per vehicle in August is expected to reach $1,902 up from $953 in August 2022 when it was basically nothing. Yeah. Rebate spending as a percentage of the average sticker price is expected to increase to 4%, up 1.9 percentage points from August 2022, according to J.D. Power. I saw plenty of people requesting more content like the show Kevin did Saturday when I was out. If you missed that show, go back and see it. Kevin took the time to go through the details of car deals sent to us by a dealer out of Kentucky. By the way, for you Chevy fans out there, feel free to inquire about any other Chevy vehicles you like, and we'll be happy to put you in touch with our man Jake. Comment below if you'd like to see more shows with all the numbers laid out on car deals that we are finding in various areas of the country. Deals to be found at dealers who are working with us, who don't play the funny games that are common out there. By the way, if we link you up with a better dealer anywhere around the country, you don't owe us a thing. It's just an extension of what we like to do to help our viewers. However, we do ask you to do us one favor if we send you to one of our contacts for a car deal. Let us know how it went. Send an email to kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and tell us your story. Testimonial videos for us to share with our audience will be phenomenal too. Absolutely. A couple reminders. Any car salesmen or dealers out there watching today who might be thinking, hey, I can offer no-nonsense deals to the Homework Guy viewers, text us right away at 701-441-3399 and we will definitely be in touch with you. Coming this month will be an opportunity for memberships here on the Homework Guy channel. Some membership levels will include lists of smartly priced vehicles we are aware of around the country like those I shared on Saturday. We have been taking our time putting these memberships together because we wanna make sure they offer great value to you, our viewers. The memberships will also allow for much improved access to both me and Elizabeth, and we do enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that coming soon. And watch for our coming book for car buyers with the help of a new staff member and sales contacts like Jake in Kentucky and others that we have around the country. It will be the best car buyer's manual ever published and we have the direct involvement of several people who have spent the last many years immersed in the dealership model and who know that business model inside and out. Together, our professional team knows exactly where the car market is right now with a variety of brands and we have powerful tools to help you win on your next car deal. As you can see, we're constantly improving the value of viewers, hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, I thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. 
God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've got to go. go.